at the height of Straight Outta Compton. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that album went how many times platinum? Well, back then it was double, but you know, since then it's all way more. But right. back then, double platinum was huge, a very big deal. Yeah, yeah. especially so with no first, radio play, no radio no. play, first album. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, because that that made the second album, and I, if I'm not mistaken, the second album is the only one that came in at number one. Right. Yeah. The Straight of Compton kind of bubbled. Yeah. 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 yeah I, but that I, the other one came. In at number right. one. Okay, so so Straight Outta Compton comes out. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think was your greatest memory from that from that time? What was um, the, or the craziest story or, or whatever? It had to be the tour. The tour. You know, forty dates, forty girls. You know, forty <laughs> plus girls rather. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, a city is a girl a night. You know, that's just how it was. Yeah. You know, that was two months. You know, and everybody that was on the tour always said, even to this day, that was the best tour because it was. You know, nowadays tours is totally different, and stuff, but it was a real tour. You know, especially for a hip hop group. Yeah. You know, Run DMC was already doing it, but from the West Coast, somebody it was unheard of. Okay. And we the only ones. Cause you guys were going on tour with East Coast artists, right? Yeah. Salt and Pepper was supposed to go, but she got she was pregnant. One of them was pregnant, okay. and they didn't go. Kid and play, and you know, and then we hooked up with LL, certain shows. You know, so that's what I'm saying. A West Coast group, you know, there was no West Coast group. I mean, we're the only one that got from the West that got into Apollo. Yeah. We didn't get booed, but, you know, we didn't get a big clap, but <laughs> okay, we got into Apollo. Even in Washington, D.C., you know, that's, they, you know, that's East Coast, but they accepted us for some reason. Sure. We, like, opened the doors for the East. Nobody else was getting in in the East. Okay. So, the tour finishes, the album is heading towards double platinum. Yeah. Ice Cube decides to leave. Yeah. Ice Cube, from what I've read, I guess felt like he wasn't being compensated properly oh, for, I for mean, all the work that he put Yeah, detail, I don't know, you know, that I don't know, but, you know, he just left. He wasn't forced to leave. No, he left on his own. So, you know. so he didn't have a, a contract? Already? Nobody had contracts. At first. Nobody had contracts. Yeah. But even with Jerry Heller in the mix? Not until during the tour. That's when we got contracts. This was after the album came out? Oh, yeah. That seems really strange. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you got young kids. That's the thing. Right, but you got Jerry Heller. Yeah. No, I'm just saying you got young kids that don't know no better. You know, we was young. We don't know contract. We don't know about all this stuff. Publishing okay. and producers, writers, you know, all this stuff. Okay. When, you, when you're young, you don't know nothing. Well, from, from, from what I've read, I guess at that point, everyone was given contracts. Yeah. And everyone signed except for, for yeah. uh, Ice Cube. Oh, yeah. So Ice Cube basically was, he, had, he wasn't under contract. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, well, okay. So how did you guys feel when Ice Cube decided to leave? Because Ice Cube was a very key member in this group. Um, we knew all something. You know what's so funny? We never talked about it. Really? No, we didn't. I mean, we wasn't mad or, you know, it just happened. You know, just like, okay, you know, he left. And it wasn't no talking, no mess. You know, we, it was nothing like that. It was just, it's just like it just, he went his way. Okay. But we were still here. The okay. group didn't fizzle away. No, it didn't. And then um, the 100 Miles and Running yeah, the EP. Uh, EP came out and the Ice Cube thing was addressed. Oh, yeah. On that EP. So obviously people felt some type of way about it. I mean, that was after the, uh, MT, the, uh, the you know, the little D Barnes thing with the video letting him come on right before us. Explain that situation. It was a, I forgot the name of the show. So but there, there was a, and the host was D Barnes. Yeah, there was right. a video show. Yeah. A video show, okay. You know, I guess she let him say something but they edited it right before our part you know on the you know because those i think we was hosting the whole show but he ended up saying something i can't remember what it was but some right before one of our and it was about in wa yeah so so something so, so, about uh, busters 100 whatever i can't remember the words but okay. so that was like oh okay wait a minute so he said something about that we didn't know about until we seen the oh show until it got TV. aired yeah uh -huh. <laughs> So Ice Cube kind of took the first shot. 
I don't know if it was taking the first shot, but it was made to look like a first shot. Well, I mean, where the made they edit it. I know. mean, if Ice Cube, he said, didn't say F in the. He didn't say it wasn't nothing like that. It well, was just something kind of simple, but it was put in edited where you know it looked like more than what it was. So that's oh, because he said something derogatory, and then they showed you guys right afterwards. Yeah, so yeah. It, so you know, just they. Okay. They got set up. <laughs> okay. And, and is that what led to the, the Dre incident with, with D. Barnes? Yeah, that's what led, to, you know, to all that and then, you know, the songs and then back and forth, you know. Okay, and, and I guess D. Barnes got kicked down some stairs? Or? I, don't, I don't even I know. Don't know. I wasn't there. So you weren't there? I don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. Fair enough. Okay, so once that happened, you guys decided to take the first shot in a song oh, yeah. against Ice Cube. Oh, yeah. What, uh... There's something about Benedict Arnold. Yeah. A few little things. You know, I don't talk about that stuff no more. You know, okay. Just, okay. You know. so, so you guys took some shot, shots at Ice Cube yeah. at the time. Um, what, did you, were you guys seeing Ice Cube at all after that? Oh, no. No, no. Never, not since the tour. Not since the tour. Yeah. Okay. We didn't see him at all, didn't talk, you know, none okay. of Okay. 100 Miles and Running, I thought was brilliant. Yeah. By the way, uh, I feel like people forget about that project. Yeah. I but mean, it was I, just like... From the straight out of Compton, it just yeah. like we grew up a little more. Yeah, like got a little older. Like personally, I actually liked that project more than the second album. Oh, okay. Just me personally. Yeah. You know, because I I I, th- I thought you know. Yeah. Uh, like what, what was that one song? Um, she swallowed it. She swallowed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant song. <laughs> wow. Got slack about that one too. I bet. <laughs> I bet. And well, because originally, well, you know, it was a sample on that song. Herbie Hancock. Okay. He called us in the studio and said we couldn't use them. <laughs> and me and Dre looked at each other like, okay. He called. If, Little, while think, you were making, not before it even came out. Well, well, we had made it. Then I guess they let him hear, you know, trying to get the sample. Oh, right. He said no. And no. He said hell <laughs> he no. He called us personally. I was looking right at Dre. He was like, I'm like, okay. Then we had, you know, had to play the music, you know, took out the sample and stuff. Okay. Because it sounded totally different. And, you know, like, I believe on that album, it was kind of addressing the whole FBI thing. I mean, 100 Miles and Running was about yeah. the FBI oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but ultimately, nothing really happened with you guys. No one got arrested. No oh, one no, got charged. No, uh-uh, nothing. No. But, but we it was, was, it was great promo. We know our rights, you know. Yeah. Freedom of speech is what they would say. Yeah. Right. Um... Did No Vaseline came out before the second NWA album? Yeah, I think it had to. Okay. It had to come out after the 100 Miles of Running. Okay. Yeah, it had to. So, what did you think when you first heard No Vaseline? Mm, I thought it was cool. You know, that's the thing about it. Nobody really got mad. He was just like, okay, he got us on that one. That's all, you know, I even told Cuba this a couple of months ago. I said, you get... Uh, you, you got us. Right. You know, that's it. You know, we didn't like, oh, man, nah. Nah, it was. I mean, you were mentioned on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Losing, I mean, you know, yellow, losing and all yeah, that. Yeah, yellow on your team, so you're losing. Yo, <laughs> Dre, say, said, stick you, to producing. You got us. So, hey. Were you and Cube close at all at one point? Oh, yeah. Early, you know, we, you know. Yeah. It's like, me and Dre was the closest. Yeah. Out of the whole thing. But every once, you know, every once you get close with Ren for a little while. Cuba a little while, I mean Eric, you know, it just yeah. different phases and stuff. Okay, so no Vaseline comes out, and you know, everyone considered a strong, a yeah. strong disc record. Oh yeah. Um, you guys still weren't running into into Cuba at no. all, or nothing mm-hmm. else like that. I mean, but not even at award shows or no, events not, or not nothing. us. No, no, not the group. No, not the group. Okay. Um, was there ever talk of, of Cube coming back to NWA during that time, or was it totally like... Um, I would say more... Well, not really. Maybe after the second album. Okay, so the second album comes out. Yeah. The, the For Life record, yeah. the For Life album. Um, what was it like creating a, you know, you know, like the, a second album? You know, this time without Ice Cube and so forth. I mean, because the EP came out. Yeah. You know, but I kind of felt like the EP sonically sounded like straight out of Compton, whereas yeah. the the second album 
had its own kind of yeah, sound. Yeah, it kind of more synthesizers and the more, you know the G funk. The G funk. That's what it was. I mean, exactly. but it was like we really grew up because the, to me, the first album is better because of what it was. But sounding wise, musically wise, the last album is better. Okay. Musically wise, way hundred percent better. But Straight Outta Compton was more popular because I guess it's the beginning, yeah. really. But the, the last album was stronger, the songs was better, but it just, Straight Outta Compton was a better album. Even though musically it wasn't. Okay. Because we, you know, we used samples and not much, but the, the last album really got into the sound of the, and it was a great sound. Yeah. The sound was great. And you guys dissed Ice Cube on that album? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it, uh, what, what's the song? I was speaking to your bitch O'Shea, like yeah. the, all that stuff. <laughs> Always into something, yeah. Always yeah. into something. There we go. I was trying to remember the, the, yeah. the name of the song. They're just, you know, I don't even, I don't even talk about them. You know, I don't even, that this stuff, I, I just stayed away. Okay, fair I enough. Just, but the, the, it was always on record, though. No one ever got into brawls or, no, or anything no, else like no, that. No, we I, never met up. None of, not us. You know, not the group and him. No. Okay. Maybe some else stuff happened, but not with the group. No. Okay, okay. That album came out, it went how many times platinum? It had to go double. Double platinum. You know, again. and it came out at number one, you know, okay. ship number one. Okay. Which is, I think to this day is rare. Yeah. Very rare. For hip hop. Yeah, no, I, I remember, I remember that album. It was, yeah, that was in my car for, for <laughs> months and months. Um, so what really happened after that? Because at one point, Dre wanted to leave. Mm-hmm. Well, that's when it, when that album, when we finished mixing that album, the group was over. Really? Yeah. The group was done. Why? It was just, it just dissolved. Why? Dre went his way, and that was it. The group but, was over. But Dre was still under contract. Oh, I don't know about, you know, contract. Okay. Yeah. You know, but, but the group was over. When we mixed in it, the group was, after it was mixed, the group was over. Basically. I mean, but there was, but there was still, we did there the, was videos. We still did the videos, but it was just about over, really. Really? Yeah. Huh, I, I never knew that. Yeah, nobody never knew that. Nobody <laughs> never knew that, okay. Yeah, but the group was, it was basically, it wasn't officially over, but it was, it was over. Because what happened, we were supposed to do another tour. Right. And, you know, our manager, I ain't saying no names, got greedy. Talking about Jerry Heller? I ain't saying no names. Okay. <laughs> Got greedy. You know, wanting to do stadiums or something like this, you know. That's what helped us fall apart. We didn't do that last tour. Well, why, why not do stadiums? NWA was, I mean, huge, was huge at that time. Yeah, but I think still arenas was better. Or whatever it was, it was, you know, asking too much money. You know, whatever the reason why we didn't do it. Okay. It's a shame that we didn't do that. Yeah. It was, it was amazing that we did So, So had you done the tour and it was... It might have been a different thing. Interesting. Maybe. Okay. So at one point, Dre wanted to leave. Yeah. No, you Dre and, didn't want to leave. He left. Dre left. <laughs> um, you and Dre, you know, you said you were, the, you know, the closest yeah. of the two. Why didn't you go with Dre? You know something? He asked me too. Really? I have not answered him yet. <laughs> hey Dre, remember that uh I have not that answered. death row deal you offered yeah. me back there? I just never I just never answered. I just Really? So so Dre wanted you to go so did he tell you like, hey, I'm about to start death row and no, he, just said, I'm fin- he said I'm leaving. You wanna come I'm with thinking, me? I'm thinking, where are you leaving? <laughs> and that was it, you know. I said, I'll let you know. I have not let him know yet. <laughs> so, but and now I just never answered. So you ultimately stayed with Easy. Yeah. Okay. And Ren was still there. Ren was kind of gone too. Ren was gone. Just yeah, it was no more. But didn't didn't Ren come out with an album on? Well, Ruthless? he we was still on Ruthless, but you know the well, the group was broke up, so you know everybody was solo. Okay. But I was just with E, you know I was with Eric, so and then we started. Then he did a couple of EPs or stuff. I didn't do the first EP. The 5150 or whatever that name of that EP. I didn't touch that one. <laughs> and then, you know, his other EP, you know, then the diss songs coming, you know. But I wasn't in the video. He didn't ask me to be in the video because he knew I wouldn't be in it. 
Okay. No, I'm not going to diss him. No, he knew that. So mm-hmm. that's why he didn't come to me about that, that song. Right, because were you and Dre still cool, or did you guys yeah. kind of stop talking at that point? We just haven't seen each other. Okay. But we were still cool. You know, there was no problem, but we just have not seen each other. Just like me and Cube, we just didn't see each other. I okay. didn't talk to Cube again to after Eric's death. That was the first time I talked to him since 89. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay. Okay, so Easy's kind of doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. Death Row comes out. Did you know Sugar at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was around towards, because he was DOC's bodyguard, so. Right. Yeah, he so, was DOC's bodyguard. Yeah. Okay. He was around right toward the ending of that album, the second album, the mixing time. Okay. Because the DOC went with Dr. Dre. Yeah. Yeah, th- those two. Now, was that before or after DOC's accident? That was after his accident. He so, had already had, because he was supposed to go on tour that next morning, and he was at a video shoot. Right, because he had his own album that came out. Yeah. Great album, by the way. Oh, yeah, it was no, a great, no do great album. He would have been a big artist. Yeah. The accident. Yeah, I mean, I had heard he fell asleep behind the wheel. Fell asleep. Been wow. up all night, drunk probably, but he fell asleep, went across the freeway, and came out the car, and hit a, the tree hit his neck. So that crushed his vocal cords. Right, and then at that point, he he had a, a rasp voice. Yeah, that was voice it. But he for, could still write. He could but still he write. was even on the second album. Yeah, he had already had the accident doing the second album. Sure did. Right, because I think he, he had like a little. Yeah, like a he little, didn't rap on it. You know, he didn't rap on it, but he wrote. Interesting. So who was he writing for? I mean, everybody wrote Easy's part. He wrote some of Easy's parts on Straight Outta Compton album. Mm. Yeah, well, Eric liked his writing style. Okay. It was totally, you know, a totally different style. He wrote, sure. he, he wrote it quite a bit. So, so DOC went with Dre. Yeah. Okay. What was DOC? I mean, under what well, under contract still or? or oh, still, I don't know. No, no, that no. I don't know. Okay. I'm quite sure he probably still was, but he okay. can't do no more albums. But I'm quite sure he still was under contract. Um, you know, when you, when you look at this whole breakup thing, you know, when you know Ice Cube blamed Jerry Heller for the breakup. I mean. If, Always the outsider. Outsider broke up the group. You feel the same way. It's exactly that's what happened. The group didn't break up itself. It's outsiders. Whoever the other people, whatever, you know, for whatever reason, that's what broke the group up. The group didn't go in there, I hate you. No, we never had no So people were getting in other people's ears. That's what it is. Outsiders. And they were coming. And that's all I got to say about that. (laughs) But that's what did it. It's the outsiders. Okay. Not the group. I've kissed him, and he's a good kisser, and that's all I'm going to say for that. Yeah, he's a good kisser. <laughs> he's an excellent kisser. Probably one of the best I've ever had. I'm not going to lie, man. You be, be, to be non-biased, I don't know, man. It might be, I don't know, man. It's been like four or five days, man. It's like, I don't know. It might be a little too late. I don't know, man. It depends on how hard he come. He got to come with some ether type shit, man. 